every com object or com server has to implement the uh, I unknown interface. It can implement a number of other interfaces as well, but it for sure has to implement this one. And it basically consists of uh, three methods an add ref, a release, and a query interface. And the add ref and release basically deal with what I talked about before about there being a reference count and a com object. And every time you access the com object or every time you want to start using the com object, you need to use the add ref in order to increment this reference count. And then when you're done using the com object, you need to use the release in order to decrement this reference count. And once the reference count goes to zero, the object gets removed, the DLL gets unloaded. So essentially the system takes care of that. You don't have to worry about the, the DLL being removed. You just have to worry about your own reference count being handled via the I unknown interface. And then the third uh, method is query interface which allows you to get an interface pointer to other COM objects that are within the uh, COM server. It's only used when the co-class implements more than one interface. I think these will become more clear when we look at examples. Here's an example code that uses uh, wchar which is Unicode and C string which is conventional uh, ANSI string and we use it co-initialized to uh, initialize the COM library and then a co-create instance to create an instance of uh, the iActive desktop interface and the iActive desktop interface pointer to pointer is defined up here and then if the uh, H result indicates uh, success with the succeeded macro. Then we uh, call the git wallpaper with our uh, Unicode wallpaper array. And if that succeeds, we uh, output the uh, Unicord, Unicord, Unicode using uh, wcout which is the unicode equivalent of cout in C++ and then we do a release to say we're done with the object and finally we do a co-uninitialize to uh, uninitialize the com library and in this second instance we actually get an interface to a second uh, interface within the uh, same uh, co-class. We have a pointer to pointer of I shell link and also a pointer to pointer to I persist file. And we do everything we discussed previously, but then we when we get down to the uh, macro to check whether the H result indicates succeeded. If it did succeed, we do a call to the uh, query interface of the I unknown and pass it the uh, IID of the pers I persist file and uh, pointer to pointer to the I persist file interface that will contain the value we want returned. And if that succeeded, then we do a save of the iPersist interface, a method within the iPersist interface of the uh, wallpaper link. And then do a release of first the uh, iPersist interface and then the iShell link interface. And once again, do a uninitialize of the COM library. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, and I'd appreciate it if you subscribe.